Hey, YouTube is to move them back. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm planning on doing with this channel. This channel has done a lot of uh, lore videos. I've done a lot of lore videos on it. But I feel like this channel isn't really meant for that. This channel is more meant for doing just random uh, gamer videos, which was the original idea. Somehow I ended up into doing these uh, Warframe lore videos. They've become somewhat popular, not hugely popular, but they're there. And I still want to do them, but I want to put them in their own channel, which is going to be my next plan. I'm going to be making their own actual channel where I'm going to be moving into moving them to I'm not going to be doing it yet but it will be happening soon um, so that's just a quick update but the next thing I want to talk about is the second dream and the war with it these are two very big quests that have to do with lore that Digital Extremes has put in to Warframe I did not like the second dream in a lore standpoint the mission itself was well done, was very thematic, had a good amount of emotion planted into it, engaged the player with the idea of who the Tenno were. However, I believe that the idea of the Tenno being children, still being kind of preteens, controlling the Warframes using Somatic Link and all of that, to be kind of slapdash. A lot of evidence in the game from codexes talk about the warframes being occupied by somebody somebody being in them it doesn't talk about people controlling it using their mind essentially now spoiler alert going to talk about the war within the war within does kind of talk does kind of give you the sense that the tenno can be inside the warframes by using their mind essentially in the war within you tap into more power as the Tenno and you're able to essentially use your Warframe as almost a point to teleport to to kind of portal through from the ship from your um, Tenno lander into your Warframe and then out of your Warframe into where the, the area that your Warframe is in physically this to me seems like a cop out in a liter literary standpoint, it sounds it feels like a cop out. It feels like something that they just put together without really giving it a whole lot of thought. Um, as far as that, they didn't really think about it in a in a weaving the lore together. They thought about it more as what's the biggest wow factor, what would make the player base go holy shit more. You know, having an adult warrior with superpowers controlling these warframes. Or having a child inside of this this near magical child inside of a machine controlling these warframes. Now DE can do whatever they want, of course. It's their property. But I do feel like they've essentially done whatever it took to leave the lore open. And the war within gave me that impression. Because it added even more questions. Because as you're use, doing the War Within, your Tenno is literally having flashbacks about its time on the, the Zerman 10 0 spaceship. The ship where the Tenno, or the Oroken, first found the Tenno. In the original lore that I found, it says that that ship went into the void with no children on board. It went with only adults. The ship, ship then disappeared, and when it returned, it had children in it that had powers. Okay. In the War Within, when you're doing the quest line, you literally have flashbacks of the children, these the Zerman 10 0 children, having to fight adults that have lost control. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. It completely just destroys any part of the lore we already know about the Tenno and their time in the ship. Even though we don't really know a whole lot about their time in the ship, we know who was supposed to be in the ship. And we know who was in the ship when it came back. We know that there were no children on board when it first left. However, when it came back, there were children. What happened in between? I don't know. Maybe they're going to actually tell you more. But when it came to the War Within, they didn't actually tell you 
where these adults went, where these children came from, how it all worked. Now, when I say I don't like the lore that they put in with these quest lines, that's exactly what I mean. Only the lore. Both the War Within and the Second Dream did a great job thematically and, you know, in a game sense, you know, game design wise, to engage the player. You know, did a good job of adding new resources to the game, new mechanics to the game. But when it came to lore, I felt like it made it so convoluted to anybody who actually followed the lore. Um, that you just don't understand what the hell's going on anymore. You know, why is it that the Glaive Codex talks about the first Tenno, yet all the Tenno in the lore were found at the same time? Why is it that the Ember Prime um, Codex talks about? The ship leaving with only adults on board and coming back with children. No adults. Yet now, we're to believe that these children are the only Tenno to have ever existed. And we are to believe that the Tenno, while they were on the ship, were dealing with adults that were going crazy. Adults that then were never there later. It's all extremely confusing. And it makes me wonder if they really even care about the lore. Um, I feel like they're just using lore to create new mechanics in the game and new resource gathering within the game. I feel like they're going farther and farther away from what the actual lore um, already had in place in order to just give themselves more leeway in creating more in the game. Which I know a lot of you probably want that. You probably want the lore to be second to the gameplay. Which is usually how most games should be, especially multiplayer games. But I'm saying this in kind of a way where I'm trying to cover my own ass. Because if I do a lore video one day, okay? Like, I, if I did, I did, just did the Tenno lore video. And in that video, I talked about how the Zermin 10 Zero had no man, no children on board when it left but did when it came back but no adults somebody goes and watches that then goes and does the the war within and they think i don't know what i'm talking about same thing came around when it came to dark sector and the warframe connection there were devs literally saying in the beginning of warframe that it had a huge that it had a connection to warframe the, the dark sector and warframe were connected in fact, one of the developers' uh, actual quotes were something along the lines of Warframe and Dark Sector are inextricably linked. Okay, I believe is what she said. Inextricably linked. Yet I've got multiple people on my comment section who are trying to argue with me about whether or not Warframe is canon to Dark Sector and vice versa. Truth is, because of how convoluted the lore is, and because there are points where the developers will say, all of a sudden say, no, it's not lore, it's not canon, while other times they'll say things that make it seem like it's canon, like the inextricably linked quote, where it could go either way. Um, so, that's all I really wanted to talk about, give you my ideas on, on, uh, on that. And remind you all, when it comes to the lore in this game, it's very convoluted. It doesn't have a whole lot of structure to it like you would think. There's a lot of plot holes. Okay? Not just plot holes. They're gaping giant sinkholes. Okay? Their entire continent's missing on this lore. Okay? For anybody who's actually followed the lore, it doesn't make any sense when you look at it in a whole. Everything the developers have said in a whole versus the codex versus what's actually come out and the lore using quest lines just doesn't make a whole lot of sense in any case if you like my videos please like and subscribe follow me on twitter at the movement 112 if you want to argue with me about anything that i said here more than welcome to comment in the comment section below or message me on twitter i'll see y'all in the next video